I think the danger is to lean back with an argument that we have never been replaced throughout history. I'm Martha Renber. We're tech advisors. We come in and try to provide exponential advisory, working with the mindset, trying to inspire organizations from within to disrupt themselves. Well, the first thing is to demystify the notion disruption. So when I say disrupt yourself, not just because you need to disrupt yourself uh, before someone else does. I don't think that's a compelling argument. I think the compelling argument is disrupt yourself because you want to create something new, something that wasn't there before and something that is far bigger than what existed before. And to take one through that, that mental process, I provided a lot of exposure to what we call exponential technologies. Technologies that move very slowly in the beginning, but then have a tendency to double really fast in the end, and uh, if you want, replace old technology. So note that I'm saying replace and not disrupt, because we're working with disruption from a strategy point of view. Again, about creating, not avoiding something we're starting to see what we call creative crossings. So basically combination of digital technologies that we've never seen before. And so what if you would cross some of the existing business that you've already digitalized with new digital technologies that come from a totally different place? What can you then create in terms of new markets that didn't exist there before, new customer needs, and even new industries? I think the danger is to lean back with an argument that we have never been replaced throughout history. And that's often an argument that's being used as a case, as a case to counter-argue disruption, to say that, well, we've never been dis replaced throughout history, so we're unlikely to be in the future. I think that's an interesting argument because I would, I would say, well, maybe that's actually an argument for, uh, for you being replaced or having a higher risk of being replaced. So I'm trying to take them to a place where they can say, okay, so there's no future for me given the current products that I'm delivering. So that's basically taking you to a place where given all these technologies, how can the costs of my product go to zero so that there's literally no income from my product alone in the future. And that's when you can start coupling with new technologies to create new markets that didn't exist before. So if you take the ebook, for example, I think if the ebook has the same price as a physical book, there's nothing new to it. That's certainly gonna not create a new market. But what if the ebook was free? And what if then the ebook was just a platform for something else? And they, the platform on top of which you can, you know, couple new technologies and therefore create, create new markets on top of that. And I think it's, it's hard for any industry to look at their product and said, what if it was totally free? From a purely strategic point of view, how do you organize is the next step because you don't want to kill your existing business today. You don't want to kill what you're already doing well today, but you still need to prepare for what's ahead. So we're securing these classical, talked a lot about this today, a lot of people do. How do you innovate at the edges? How do you organize with new partnerships? How can you organize outside of the conversation? All of these things are natural next steps. But one of the things is really to go back to just daring to, to disrupt. I feel there's really good energy at the conference here today. People are smiling, people are both inspired and challenged. It's super important to create new neural pathways in your brain that didn't exist there before. I think there's a lot of value to the continuity of this platform that they've created every year. It seems like the content has been well built up and people seem to have fun uh, and I can't wait to have a beer with them or two.